Hey G Squad and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be making these miniature plantain bowl breakfast bowls. So if you'd like to see how I put this together, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run through all the ingredients I'm using today. But of course, everything will be in the description box. So I'm using uh, two green plantains, a bit, um, can of uh, corned beef hash. I have my bacon here. Then I'm using some egg whites. Uh, the seasoning I'm using, I have uh, garlic powder. Um, I'm using some bell peppers. I have some smoked paprika as well as some black pepper. I may or may not be using salt because the bacon has salt in it. And then I'm going to be frying my plantains in some vegetable oil. So I'm going to get uh, prep the peppers and the plantains off camera. And then I'll meet you back here and we'll get started. Okay, so on the stove I have one pot um, filled with some vegetable oil. And that's heating up. I want it to be as hot as... 350 degrees because that's what I'm going to fry my plantains in and then in the nonstick skillet I'm going to be adding my corned beef hash to this and get that going I'm not going to be adding any oil to this because of it being beef it makes it its own oil and so now what you see me doing is just uh, emptying this can in there to get this started Okay, so the corned beef hash has been cooking now for about five minutes. So I'm going in and adding the seasonings that I showed you in the beginning. And if you're new to my channel, I always say welcome. Thank you for stopping in. And uh, feel free to season your food to your desired taste. I'm just showing you what I um, like to season my food with. So I'm using, again, the black pepper, garlic powder, and some smoked paprika. And I'm not going to stir this just yet. I'm going to let it brown some more on one side. And so now my grease is finally hot. And so I'm going in and adding my plantain. Sure, don't be like I am and just drop um, your plantains in the oil like that. Because that grease can pop up and you don't want to burn yourself. And so now I don't want to cook these all the way because, again, they are going to go back in this oil. So I just want to cook them enough to make them soft so I can uh, go on with the next process, which is going to be forming my bowls. And so now I'm just removing them from this oil. I'm going to continue to let this grease um, heat up because when I put my planters in them, I want them to really, want it to really be hot. And so now... This is a, a lemon lime uh, strainer. So if you have one of these, then this is what I'm actually going to form my bowls with. And I'm adding this parchment paper in there. So once I mash the bowl, it's going to be easy for me to actually remove it. If you don't have parchment paper, you can use like um, a saran wrap. And so now I'm just going in and I'm just giving it a nice squeeze and just voila, as you can see, our bowls are formed. And so now I'm just going to continue the process off camera and then we're going to meet back at the stove to uh, continue frying. Okay, so now I'm going to add my bowls, plantain bowls, back to the same pot of hot oil and... I'm just going to add those in. And again, I said just, you know, be careful how you place these in the oil because you don't want that oil to pop up and burn yourself. And so um, I'm not going to overcrowd my pot. I'm just going to cook a couple of these at a time. And as you can see how that, that grease is cussing, that's what you want. And so um, these are going to actually cook now 
for about another minute or two uh, because, again, they're already uh, halfway done. I'm just going in and adding, like, another um, couple of minutes on it to give it, like, a nice crisp uh, brown texture. And then um, I'm going to use uh, one of these spoons, as you can see, to lift them out. And as you can see, this is how they're looking. So I want them just a, a tad bit darker. So I'm going to leave it in for a few more seconds. And so now I'm ready to remove them. And this is how they look. And so again, I'm going to add them back to the... Um, to the uh what is it called the coriander with a paper towel to allow it to drain the excess oil while we continue working on um the uh stuffing that's going to go on there which is our eggs and our um and the uh hash browns the corned beef hash Okay, so our final um, process is we are cooking the, um, you know, the eggs and um, eggs bacon. And so I'm just fast forwarding through there. I put some olive oil in the pan, saute the peppers. I just showed you the uh, corned beef hash is done. And so I have the bacon also to your right that's cooking. And so now I'm pouring in my egg whites in with my peppers. And I'm just going to go ahead and season that with the same seasons that I showed you earlier, which is the garlic powder and the uh, black pepper. I'm not gonna add any smoked pepper, get to this, of course. And then, uh, yeah, just give that a nice little mix. And uh, that's pretty much it with that. And so now I'm just showing you, my eggs are done, the bacon is done. And so now we're going to go ahead and assemble our um, plantain cups. All right, family, so now it's time to assemble our cups. And uh, there really is no specific order that you have to do this in. It's your, it's up to you. You can do the the uh, corned beef first and then the eggs, or you can do it the other way around. So I'm just doing one of each um, so you can see. But like I said, it really doesn't um, make a difference how you uh, stuff it. All right, gang, so here we are. I have uh, everything transferred to this um, plate. Uh, one is for the purpose of the uh, my thumbnail and for the video, make it look a little cute and inviting. But it also is another way to, um, you know, have like little breakfast cup 
hors d'oeuvres um, with Valentine's coming up. Maybe you want to do something really cute and fancy for you and your boo, your bae. And uh, this is, you know, ways that you can uh, display it. Um, and then um, also you can add your own ingredients to it. Um, I use egg whites. Maybe you want to just use regular eggs. Um, you can actually boil an egg and put it in there. Um, it's just so many options that you have. And so basically, again, just, um, just make it your own. And then also another thing that you can do um, to add another pop of color and some creaminess to it, you can incorporate an avocado in here, which I'm showing you right now. Uh, cut up a few slices and just insert it in there and give it a nice little color. But family, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, it tastes really, really good. But um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.